Here are 10 shocking secrets the food industry doesn't want you to know. Number 1. That red food coloring you often see in candy and flavored yogurt comes from the carmine beetle. So back in elementary school when you saw that kid eating bugs, yep, that's all of us. Under the ingredients, it's often listed as carmine, carminic acid, or cochineal extract. But I believe it has a couple of other names as well. Number 2. Night soil. Go ahead, Google that one. Sure, we use animal manure all the time as fertilizers, but things that come from unprocessed human excrement include drugs and medicines that don't break down by themselves, as well as parasites. Number 3. Canned mushrooms are allowed by the FDA in the United States to contain under 20 maggots for every 100 grams of mushroom. Even though I live in Canada, I can't imagine the statistics to be much different to be honest. Here's a screen cap from the FDA website, and the link is in the description box below if you wanted to look up other favorite foods. And if you think that since you only eat whole foods, you won't be eating questionable ingredients, think again. You know they dye oranges orange so that they're, well, orange colored and more appealing to humans? Number 5. Fat-free labeling doesn't necessarily mean that it is fat-free. If we're nitpicking, and we are, it can really mean a food containing up to 0.5 grams of fat per serving or per reference size. Does it matter? Probably not, unless you're consuming vast quantities of fat-free foods. Number 6. Since we get produce from all around the world, it is shipped unripe in a lot of cases. Once it's ready to be sold, it's a pretty common practice to spray your fruits and veggies with ethylene gas to help it ripen. We assume it's harmless, but gassers can experience nausea, vomiting, skin irritations, bronchitis, edema, and other interesting side effects. Sure, we only get trace amounts in comparison, but the effects are said to be cumulative. Have you ever wondered why fast food places always serve the most tender and juicy chicken breasts in their salads and wraps? A food insider informed me that it's because their chicken breasts are combined with processed meat. Enjoy wine? The tradition of stomping on grapes to produce wine wasn't just to crush them. The idea was that yeasts and fungus and microbes on your feet would assist the fermentation process. Nowadays, this practice isn't banned, but it is against the law to sell it in the United States. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to read between the lines, but does that imply that one can still give it away? Note to self, don't accept wine ever. MSG has gotten a pretty bad reputation for causing headaches, heart palpitations, and more. Not a big deal according to experts because this only happens in a small population of people. However, the effects of MSG are cumulative and break down the connections and communications in your brain. What we might not know is that since MSG gained this bad reputation, it is present in the following ingredients. Things that start with autolyzed, calcium caseinate, glutamate, and things that start with hydrolyzed, and more. I obtained this information from the antioxidant prescription, but a quick Google search will give you alternative names. In Canada, once an animal has been cloned, it as well as its descendants cannot be labeled as organic. If this is overtly stated under the prohibited section, you could be eating cloned meat if you're not buying organic, as in we could be eating a biotech experiment all the time. So really, we're all up in arms about GMO foods, but cloned animals are acceptable? There's some food for thought. And if you're still stuck on number two, pun intended, be rest assured that sewage sludge of any form is also prohibited in organic farming. Good to know. If you'd like to take a look at the organic guidelines yourself, I've included the link in the description box below so you too can be horrified. On that happy note, that's all for now. I want to know, was there anything on that list that surprised you? Write your answer in the comments section. Thanks for watching and see you next time.